Are you wondering if you should neuter your dog? Well, today we're going to discuss reasons why you might want to neuter or not neuter your male dog. I'm Dr. Megs, and this is Everyday Vet. In deciding whether or not to neuter your male dog, we first have to understand what neutering even is. So by neutering, I'm referring to a procedure in which we actually remove the testicles from the dog. Um, it's called neutering or castration, um, or hiectomy is another word for it. But basically, we're dealing with male dogs today. Um, now, if you have a female dog and you're wondering whether you should spay her, be sure to check out my video on that, because we're only going to focus on the males for right now. So some things to consider when we're talking about whether or not you should neuter is, you know, what are the positives and benefits of doing this procedure? So in order to get a better understanding of this, I like to look at what problems we see in neutered dogs versus what problems we might see in non-neutered dogs or intact dogs. So in looking at neutered dogs, some of the issues that we can see um, that arise from neutering, particularly if you're doing it at a really young age, are changes in their overall body conformation. So we might see an increased risk of hip dysplasia or even an increased risk in um, a cranial cruciate ligament tear, which is basically the, the doggy version of the human ACL. The reason being for that is that if we neuter dogs early before they fully developed, we can see some changes to their bony growth. Um, you can actually see some changes to what's called the tibial plateau. Um, that's the, the top part of the tibia, which is kind of the, the part right below the knee. And if that angle changes, then the overall um, mechanics of the knee alters such that you might be putting more strain on that ligament. So that's definitely one thing to consider when we're talking about neutering. Um, now, another thing to consider when we're talking about male dogs in general is the prostate. So dogs do have a prostate as well, and we can see enlargement in that prostate. Now, one of the, the most common changes I see in the prostate is going to be benign um, enlargement of that prostate. That typically occurs with the intact males, though, as opposed to the neutered ones. When we find an enlarged prostate in a neutered dog, it's actually more typically prostate cancer, um, but it's definitely not going to be nearly as common as that benign enlargement as a non-cancerous enlargement in the intact male. So looking at the things that we can see with the intact males is going to be that benign enlargement of the prostate. So benign meaning non-cancerous, but it can still cause problems. So the reason why I typically see dogs coming in with this issue is owners will notice that maybe the dog is straining to defecate. The problem is that prostate sits right underneath the colon. So if it gets big enough, it can actually start pushing up on that colon and almost cause like a partial obstruction to, to the bowels. So that can be really uncomfortable for your dog. Um, other things we can see is some, some bloody urination in the intact males. So that could be due to this um, benign enlargement if that's affecting the, the urethra, which is, is basically that little tube that travels from the bladder out of the body to empty the urine. Um, that's, that's what the prostate sits around. So if it starts compressing that, you can see some, some issues with straining to urinate um, or even inflammation where, where we're actually getting blood. The other thing we can see too is the prostate can actually get an infection in it, which can of course cause all sorts of problems because it's an infection. Um, so we definitely wanna make sure that we're monitoring the prostate in any dog, but particularly the ones that are, are left intact because those are the ones that are gonna get that, that prostate enlargement as they continue to age. Now, along the lines of issues that we can see in the intact males, one of the other things that we see is it's called a perianal adenoma, which is basically uh, the medical term for these masses, so, so extra growths that we see kind of on, on the hind end of the dog, so underneath the tail there. Um, we can see these masses on the skin, so adenoma being um, a certain type of, of mass, and that can cause all sorts of problems. So if it's right up next to the rectum, um, that can definitely cause, again, like a mass effect where you're, you're pushing on the colon and affecting the ability for the dog to go to the bathroom. Um, it can also, of course, cause aesthetic issues. You know, no, no one really wants to look at a whole bunch of growths back there. So definitely another reason to consider neutering the dog. Um, and then, of course, we have to consider the actual testicle itself. And intact males can get testicular cancer. 
Now, the good news in terms of testicular cancer is that, you know, if you neuter your dog, you're removing the testicles and you're essentially completely eliminating the risk of it, which is great. Um, It's very rare that we can say that for cancer. But the other things to consider is if you catch the testicular cancer early before it's really spread to the rest of the body, um, you can still neuter them. And then as long as you've caught it before it's spread, you're essentially curing that cancer. Uh, same thing goes for like those little masses on the hind end there or even that um, benign prostate enlargement. We do find that if those things develop by neutering them, we're, we're removing that source of hormone, which seems to be connected to these, these issues. And we can actually see an improvement in the prostate as well as a reduction in those little masses that might be there. You may, depending on the location of the mass, may still have to go for um, surgical removal of the mass, but definitely make sure that you're keeping an eye on things and and catching it early so you can hopefully avoid something like that. Um, Now, the other things that we have to consider when it comes to our intact males is their overall behavior. So it's very common for our male dogs to, to try to mark things and you know constantly urinating on trees and everything as you're trying to take them for a walk. This is much more common if your dog is intact because it has the actual um, you know like marking behavior. The other thing that we can see is an increase in roaming behavior. So your dog might try to escape and get loose so it can kind of go try to find female dogs. And you know like I, I think the problem with that too is it sounds, ridiculous like the easy solution is just keep them confined don't let them loose good to go but it's actually not that easy in practice um you know i've known veterinarians that have had their dog get loose accidentally my own dogs have gotten loose accidentally it's obviously never on purpose but things happen i've had my front door blow open um you know i I don't know what caused it but but you you can't always plan for these things because they're accidents so it's always safest to to neuter the dog so that way you don't end up um, allowing your dog to contribute to overpopulation and accidental litters of puppies. Now, we definitely come down to a big discussion, though, on when should you neuter because we've got these pretty serious risks associated with neutering too young, but then we've also got some pretty serious risks with not neutering at all. So. In males especially, we really want to find that balance. Uh, We're not on a huge time crunch. Um, You know, if you don't neuter at exactly six months of age, it's okay. Um, You know, those problems that we talked about with the intact males with like the growth and the testicular cancers and the, the prostate enlargement, all of those things take time. So... You don't have to rush your puppy in immediately and and get it neutered right away to to still prevent these things. So what I usually recommend, um, if you know that you want to neuter your dog, I would encourage you to wait until at least six months of age. That way you still have some time for for the bony development. And that way we're not getting quite as increased risks of like hip dysplasia, hopefully. Um, And what I typically recommend, especially for like the larger breed dogs, is maybe even waiting until like nine months, even a year old to neuter. If you're neutering in that time frame, you're allowing the, their bodies to develop a little bit more, um, but you're also catching them before they're going to be getting that prostate enlargement and other concerns. So my recommendation is still to neuter your dog just because, you know, there's so many dogs out there. We really don't want those unwanted pregnancies and associated behavioral changes, but we also don't want um, some of those like potential and enlargements of the prostate and, and cancers that can develop. So I would still encourage you to neuter your dog, but maybe think about waiting a little bit. So in summary, we talked about some of the concerns with neutering your dog, as well as some of the concerns with leaving your dog intact. Just like any surgical procedure, there's gonna be positives and benefits on both sides of it. So it's really important that you have a discussion with your veterinarian to find which option best fits your individual needs. Um, Unfortunately, there's no one solution that fits every situation, so it's always good to have that discussion. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm Dr. Meggs, and this is Everyday Vet.